Hi. Good evening. <laughs> Hi, guys. So, um, <clears throat> so hi, <laughs> and uh, you know what? We're just jumping around today. I'm starting a new journal, and um, so I wanted to show you guys all about it. And then um, I have a ton of new members coming in now. From I have that group on Facebook, Junk Journal Junkies, etc. And I have so many people coming over there, so many new people. It's so much fun when new people join, like, that have never done it before, you know what I mean? Doing those, these journals. And um, it's just really fun because I remember when I was young, or, well, I'm still new at it, too. So, you know, I mean, I've only been in it, like, six months or something. But but anyway, so it's just really fun. And um, so, you know, the enthusiasm, it's catchy, you know. <laughs> Not that I need any more enthusiasm. But anyway, isn't this thing cool? I went to a, um, you know how I always talk to you guys about that Buy Nothing project? Well, I went to this lady's house today, and she gave me all this stuff, and isn't this thing cool? Like, this is a wool spinner, like, to make your own yarn out of, like, wool, right? Isn't that what this is? Like, I'm not quite sure, but I think that's what it is. And you spin, you spin it, and it's, and you hold on the end, and you spin this. Like I don't really know how, but I know you hold on the end of this, and it, while you're spinning it, and it makes, you know, and you twist it like this to make thread. I don't know. I don't really know, but I've seen it in the movies or something one time. You know what I mean? Look at, is this neat? I just think this is cool. So somebody was making this. I wonder if it's a wool, you know. But somebody was making this. You know. Whatever it is. I think it's neat anyways. Anyway, I got a bunch of neat stuff today, so I'm really excited. I was just saying, I need some fabric. I need some fabric. I need some fabric. But I got some. So, um... You know, I'm on the Tsunami Rose design team. And every month we get a kit. And, you know, we have a project we got to do. And so this month, well, I did my two for July. This is actually for August. And um, I'm going to log in here and see if I can see you guys yet. It takes a minute sometimes. But anyways, I'm going to... I'm going to do a monthly planner again, or I mean a weekly planner for, you know, just one month. So there's going to be four weeks. Let's see if I can find my own self or not. Yeah, here it is. Okay. <laughs> I hate that part. Whoops. Okay. So since I have so many new people, I'm just going to pretend like nobody knows what I'm talking about. Hi, Teresa. How are you, honey? What are you guys doing tonight? Hmm? All right. So since I have so many new ones, like I said, I'm just going to act like, like nobody knows what I'm talking about. That's the way it's easier. Good, thanks. <laughs> so anyway, I, if you guys watch my channel and stuff, I, I don't know what my issue is, but I have anxiety over getting a kit. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like, um, I'm a little bit, I don't know what I am, actually. I just don't like being told what to do, you know what I mean, like creatively, and so like, it's really fun and I wanted to do it. It's not like that. But I'm just saying, like, you know, when somebody makes you do something, it's like, oh, poop. You know what I mean? And so I always, like, print out the kit. And even though I love it and I think it's pretty, it sits on my desk for, like, I don't know, a couple days. I have to, like, get over the fact that I have to do this. 
you know what I mean? And so I, I have to warm up to it. I don't know. It's really weird. The process I have to go through with it, but I don't know. So anyways, the kit is really cute. I'll show you um, some of this stuff. So what I did is I, you get the kit from Daisy and you just print it out on the computer how you want to print it out. And so it's just easy, you know, and you can just basically just throw it together. But, you know, you got to come up with unique ways of presenting, you know, all our little cutesy stuff. And so that's what the challenge is because you know how many people have done this kit before it's been seen. You know what I mean? So you got to come up with something, something, you know what I mean? Or at least I do. <laughs> you know what I mean? We got to add a little salt and pepper. Oh, we gotta, you know, you got to do something. Okay. So I wanted to mix the kit with some Kane Company paper that I had. I've been waiting to use this because I've been wanting to do monthly planners anyway, or I mean weekly planners anyway. So um, I thought, okay, so I'm just going to do it. So I cut everything out already because, you know, you don't have to watch me cut. So you print everything out and then you cut it all out. And as I'm cutting everything out, you know, the ideas start coming and I start thinking, what direction can I go? How am I going to put all this together? What papers am I going to use? You know, it's such a process. And so it's really um, tough in the beginning to get your first one done because you have z nothing, zilch, you know. And so now I even have rose water dyed paper. I'm so fancy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just happen to have some. So I'm super excited already because, you know, this is all pretty much about roses. So... I'm going in a few different directions with this. Um, it's a weekly planner, so I was going to try to do... Um, hi, Mariana. I was going to try to do four signatures, one for each week, but I don't know for sure. I might just end up doing two signatures, or I might just do one big, huge one. I really don't know yet. I'm waiting to get some opinions on that when you guys see... Um, what I'm doing here, and um, I'm kind. I wait for Athena too because she sews really good, and I I struggle with the sewing. You guys know this, and so I'm I um I always do the rings, but I wanna do the regular pages. I started out doing regular pages, but like I ripped them and I got mad, so I went to rings. <laughs> but I have to learn how, and you know I want to do the signatures, and so anyways, I am trying to figure this out. It's very dramatic. So anyway, um, so this is the design paper anyway that I picked out to go with it. I'll unclip everything. I got everything clipped in four weeks. See, here's one week, here's one week, here's another week, and here's another week. So I'll just show you. I'll just unclip one. So here's the design paper that I picked out. It's Kane Company, I think. Actually, I think it is, but I'm pretty sure it is. I'm looking for a stamp on it, but I don't see it. I must have cut it off. But anyways, so here's the paper. I love the paper. Isn't it pretty? Um, this is Kane Company, and I'm mixing it with the kit. And so this paper on the side right here is January, February, March, April, May, June, July. You know, it goes through all the months. And so when I seen that, because I only had like four or five sheets, I thought, well, I'll save it for later. Maybe I could do a TN insert with it or, you know, like, I don't know, whatever. And so opportunity never arose yet to use it until now. And so I thought, cool. So I took the four sheets of this that I had and I just cut it to size and I let, you know, it's 12 by 12. So I left the left the excess for a flap, you know, for a pocket, I'll sew it or glue it or stick it or lick it or bang it or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? I haven't gotten that far yet. But, um, so anyways, um, hi, Athena. Hi, hi. So I, this is well, I'm glad Athena's here because she's the sewer. So, um, 
if you watch then, Athena, then tell me what you think, okay? Because, you know. So anyway, um, so now I just think this paper is really cute. And so the kit is looks like this. It's got all these rosy, like, rose paper with all this messed up stuff on it. You know what I mean? And then this is some of my rose water paper. And then this is just some coffee stain rose wrapping paper, I think. And then I put in some um, book pages from an insect book because I'm kind of going rose garden-ish. And I'm kind of going towards like not like totally secret garden, but just a little tiny hint of it. You know what I'm saying? I really love Garden Gates' this is a dictionary page. And here's another kit page. So you see why I did this? Because like, look at the kit. You see? And so anyways, and then I got a couple envelopes. Cop oh no, that's rose stain. This is coffee stain. Then I got a gesso half page. And then here's another page from the kit. Now, all these I have tea stained and ironed also. See, my spritz is on the back. Because I can't stand having it just plain. Now, I'm going to cover this up with pockets and stuff, and this will just be background. And I'll script stamp on it and do something to it. I don't know. But but the kit's pretty, but I just didn't know what to do. You know what I mean? And so here's more rose water paper. And another half page with script stamp. And then here's the last sheet. Okay, so that would be like one signature. So this is big, thick card file, and then all those sheets of paper. Then I made another one of those little files like I did for Athena. And I'm going to put coffee paper on the back. And then it comes with, the kit comes with a bunch of these little, these kind of little tags. So I'm going to use three of these in each week. And then it comes with these monthly and yearly little little things. So each week is going to get one of these. And then it comes with these cute little envelopes. So I'm going to put, and they all say something, you know, like positive on it or whatever. Hi, Connie. Hi, Mariana. And so, you know, it's got this cute little paper on the inside, you know, kit paper and stuff. So each week's going to have one of those. And then um, I printed out um, ephemera and, you know, how I'm into the rose water uses. So I printed out like a bunch of different little recipes and like rose water, rose oil, like potpourri, bath, tea, a bunch of different crap about roses. You know what I mean? And then... And I'm just clipping it all together. And then I have these envelopes. There's four, you know, one for each week. I'm going to do some decoupaging. So I got out my roses and my stuff here. And um, here's the little inserts. These come in the kit. I just shrunk them down. And then I got these envelopes for free. Somebody was giving them away. They're like invitation envelopes or something. So they're really nice. And they have like the linen lines in them, you know. So I'm going to decoupage four of these. So each week gets a big envelope and a little envelope. And I'll put this in there. So that'll be cute. That's what I'm going to do while I'm sitting here with you guys is these envelopes. And then I have to like glue on some of this stuff. I have to glue these or sew these, whatever I'm going to do. And then if I, I'll show you what I got going on here. I got this stuff. Um, basics of growing roses. I got some garden ephemera, some more garden ephemera. Um, how to uh, maintain roses. I did a couple of tags already with copy stain paper on the back that I sewed. Um, this one shows all the leaf troubles on roses and how to read your plants. And dill, ephemera, and some more just newspaper. 
I already said hi to you. I can't say hi to you twice. Okay. Well, then I won't. Okay, so here's another one. How to plant a bare root rose. So I have that. And then this one. How to um, clip prune them. You know what I mean? So I got a couple of different tags started and in the makings anyways. And some of them are there. And then these. I really like garden door knockers. You know what I mean? Here's one of the keyhole photos I found on Pinterest that I just love. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but I love it. And I love this one, too. I can't stand it. I love the... This might be too Zen Garden. I don't know if I'm going to put this in here or not, but I just love it. And I want to find a spot for it. And then this one is coffee stained. I did a little sewing. So that. And then this one... I don't know. I'm I'm considering, you know, let me look here. Um, I'll show you what I did. It's really cool. Or, I mean, I think it's cool. I like it. So I figure if I like it, somebody else might. But anyway, I just want to have fun doing it, so. I'm just going to do what I like, and we'll just see. Okay, so I, the, I'm going to talk about the cover, and then what I've done. Like, inside, I used, um, I like floral painted wood, and I have used to do, well, I still do furniture, and um, I just think it looks really cute. I'm doing a shelf right now outside, and I'm doing that big, huge one. I'm still not done. Ugh. Anyways, throughout the book, I have some wood with some florals on there. Isn't that funny, Athena, that you put that wood in my journal that you made for me? I thought that was so cool because I really like it, you know. <laughs> So anyways, I love this wood, and it, I love the flowers on it. And so I've put, um, these are on my Pinterest, you guys, under um, floral painted wood. I put the Pinterest link down in the description box, and my Etsy shop and Facebook link is down there. So anyway, these are under floral painted wood, and um, so they're saved there. So aren't they pretty? I'm just dying. So this is what I want to do the cover with. I think. I'm not sure yet, but I kind of want to. And then I have this image of like the shed door with, and it's painted white with the flowers. And I don't know. I kind of like this. You know what I mean? If I layer this with this, you know what I mean? And put some book pages around there and maybe like. I don't know, but I just love that wood. Anyways, I got to figure this out because I'm dying over it. I don't know. Or I have this picture of a, um, I want a garden gate, you know, and I kind of was thinking I want this key maybe on the cover, you know, but I don't know if I can get all this to work together somehow to get the image or the feeling, you know what I mean, that I'm trying to convey here. So if I layer, if I layer it just right, you know what I'm saying? I could possibly get, you know what I mean? I could possibly get the feeling I'm trying to get here. You know what I mean? But anyway, it's more about the roses and not really this, I don't know, we'll see. So that's the one signature anyways. And so they're all kind of different. And I want to show you because it's fun. And and I want you to see how thick the signatures are, okay, now, because I want to see if I should. And so this one, here's the little file for this one. And then here's the little envelope for it. It says, focus on the good, and it has cute little paper. 
And then this is a rose hip oil, you know, thing. And then here's the three tags for this one, for this week. And then they each get, each week is going to get one of these little thick note cardy ones and a little calendar. So I'm going to put all that, you know, on the journaling pages somehow. I'm going to present it somehow. So that goes with this week. And then here's this week's little folder. I just think it's so pretty. I love this paper so much. I love it. It's the same. Only I just flipped it over so it looks different, you know. <laughs> it's the same page. And so it goes like that. I'm using doilies in this one. I don't often do that. I rarely do that. But this one, for some reason, I just feel like I can get away with it. And it's covering up some of the writing, perhaps, that will be on here. I don't know. And make it more, like, secret. You know what I mean? So it's not, like, right there in case. I don't know what. So, and then I put some fruit ephemera in there. Music pages. Here's some wood with lace. This is the dots. This is all from my rose water that I made that day. If you guys watched that video from my garden, I love that paper. And this is a um, gessoed half a page. Here's a kit page. Music, dictionary, another kit page, a sack, and then the bugs. Don't you think the bugs are cute? I don't know. I just like the whole garden idea, right? And you have bugs in the garden, so what the heck? I like it. This is rose paper doily and another kit page. So I don't know if these are too small to be one signature. By the time I get done, you know how fat I make everything. I was thinking that this would be okay to have four little signatures, but I don't know. We'll see. And then this one, I love this one. I love the dots and the flowers on top of it. And so here's the file folder for this one. This little envelope says, don't give up, great things, take time, and it's got cute little paper in it. It's a recipe for rose hip tea. And here's the three tags for this week. And the card, and then the other card, the monthly card, that's a kit card, this is a kit card. And then these are from the kit. The tags are from the kit. This is Pinterest. This is the kit. And this is Can Company. And this is kit paper. So it's pretty. It's got a butterfly down here. And I love these flowers. They're real pretty. See? It's real pretty paper. Hi, Stacy. I'm so glad you made it. You're not doing homework tonight. Look at that. I love that rose water. I, it got a little purple. I probably overbaked it a little bit, maybe. I don't know, though. The paper doesn't feel like I overbaked it. But it's really pretty. Anyways, yay, Stacy. <laughs> you finally made it. Look, Stacy, I'm putting bugs in this one. It's really funny. <laughs> Here's another kit page. Music, sheet music. And then here's some wood again with the um, flowers. I love that. Don't you love this? I just want to paste my walls with it. You know what I mean? And here's some coffee stain with some doily on there. I got a white sack, kit paper, dictionary, doily, and more kit paper. I know, I thought you would think that was funny, Stacy. I like the bugs, too. Okay, so this is a junk journal, but it's a weekly planner. But, you know, it could be it could be used for a garden, or it could be used for just your junk journal, or it could be used for, I don't know, it could have a lot of different uses, you know. Okay, so here's this week, then. You are so much stronger than you think. 
And here's the file folder I made. Rosebud T uses and stuff. And then here's the three tags that come with the kit for this week. And then the two cards that I printed out for the week. So each week has all its own little stuffs, which I think is so fun. And here's the, the pocket folder I made with that thick paper for this week. So here's how this one goes. Of course, I haven't done anything yet. I'm just showing you. Look at this. Isn't that pretty with the roses and the wood? <gasps> I love it. Dictionary, more bugs, doily, here's a kit page, rose paper, rose water paper, a brown bag, only that's covering up my gesso, I don't like that spot, I'm going to move it right there, okay. Okay, so, okay, and then this, here it is, Teresa, it's Tsunami Rose, and K Company, you must have blipped out, because I've been saying it, and saying it, and saying it, and this is Pinterest, I saved on my Pinterest account under floral painted wood, isn't it gorgeous? Okay, so then that's that signature, and this is Kane Company. But you must have missed it. I feel like I repeat myself so many times, but sometimes people miss it when, you know, things happen, you know, if you got to answer the phone or you got to go to the fridge or, <laughs> you know what I mean? So Kane Company, and then this is Tsunami Rose, kit paper. Yeah. So I'm mixing my Kane Company with Tsunami Rose and my Pinterest images to try to get a rose garden feel without, I don't know, going too crazy. But I kind of go crazy every time, I guess. Don't I? So I might as well just stop fighting it. And then I have this pretty paper that's all rosebuds. I might add a sheet of that in there, too. I got one in one other signature but we'll see okay so those are the four signatures I guess if that's how I'm gonna do it but that's the four weeks anyways and then I have this fabric I don't know I'll probably use it on something but I kind of like it I've been saving it and it's roses I don't know if I necessarily am too enthused I have this also. I was thinking of using this for the back of that for that cover, but I don't know if I'm going to get too many elements then if I use what I showed you for the cover, you know. And this, it might be just too much, so I'm not sure, but I do have this because I kind of like that whole upholstery look for like carpet bagish type of deal, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, I really like this. So, I might use this in there. So, we'll see. Did you guys see this thing I got today? It's like a thread spinner or something. An old one, you know. I don't know how to use it, but I'm sure this was wool and they are spinning it, you know, to make yarn. Some kind of fashion. But anyway, isn't that cool? I love it. So that's the fabric. And then something else going to show you and I'm looking for it right now well somebody came over today and gave me a whole bunch of 
whole bunch, a whole box of seam binding. So I'm super excited. And she gave me this box of trims. And then I know, right? Isn't that spinner thing neat? And then I got these. I'm going to send them out to Stacy. Look at how cute these are. Stacy, are you watching? Here's the little dinosaurs. There's so many. Um, Athena, I should send you some too for your little boy. They're just for art, you know, like they could stick them on their art pages. They're little dinosaurs, you know what I mean? And I will never use these, and there's like a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to send a bunch to Stacy. And then if you think, um, if you think, Athena, that your little boy would use them for his art, then I'll send you the other half. Then I got these cool things. I mean, I know it's not that big of a deal, but I like it because it has the hole in the top. I mean, they're just embroidery thread things. You know what I mean? It's not a big deal, but I don't know. I kind of like them that they have the hole in the top already, and there's like scads. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't really know why I like those. I just do. <laughs> and then look, Athena, here's some of that trim. That fuzzy trim that you used, you know what I mean? Only yours is a different color. Well, there's some of it in here. Isn't that cool? I love this stuff. I know. And anyways, there's just a bunch of stuff in here, you know? There's balls. <laughs> and all these different laces and stuff. This lady just gave this stuff to me. She knows I do this. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. Some little balls. Ooh, look at this. This is my favorite. Uh-oh, that's really fun. Some daisies. More balls. That's some good stuff in here. Yeah, it's a yarn spinner. Out of like, you know, real cotton that you go pick, you know. It's no joke there. That's some real... Real crafting there. Ooh, look at this. Oh, I love this. Ooh. I think this is my favorite piece. I love it. Anyway, there's a bunch of junk in here. It was really fun. Ooh, look at this one. Ooh, I like this. Look at this. This is neat. Oh, it feels like sheets, but it can't be sheets. It must be. It could be, though. It could have been the edge of a pillowcase. But, ooh, it's really pretty, right? I love it a lot. Some eyelet. So there's just a bunch of stuff in here. Oh, here's some ruffled, ruffled eyelet. That's going to be super cute. I love that. Yeah, and here's some more. And then I got two garbage bags full of fabric. And she had all these boxes laid out. And so I went and dug through every single box. So I got some really good tapestry and some really good gypsy. Oh my god, I'm so excited about the gypsy fabric. I can't wait because... I have this little granddaughter, you know, and she's three or whatever, and um, I can't wait because, you know, I'm going to make one of those gypsy tents outside, you know, with the fabric hanging from the trees, you know, and all the pretty stuff when she comes, and we're going to dress up with all the fabric, you know what I mean? Oh, my God. I got to show you some of this. I got to show you at least a couple of things just for fun. If I can find it now, some of it's really fun. I mean, I always call it gypsy fabric. I don't know. I have so much of it that it's getting to be sickening now, but 
but I love it. Look at that stuff. And look at this. Oh my God, you guys. This stuff ruffles on the ends when you cut it. And it is just so good. I can't even stand how good it is. I'm telling you. It's amazing. And I love this lace. <laughs> and then this one, I love it because it's white and it has all the sequins on it. And it has like embroidered thread running through it, you know. So I love this. So I'm super excited to make a little dress for my little granddaughter out of that. We're going to have matching dresses. It's going to be so cute. And then I have more white stuff. Look at that shine on that. Can you imagine? Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. And I don't know. I think this was a I think this was a cuff to a sleeve. You know, and I think this is a yoke. A yoke, you know what I mean? Like to a shirt or a dress or something, you know what I mean? So there's some cool things too in there. I know that green and white one, I love it so much. I don't. Let me look here now. That green one was so pretty. It's my favorite one. Of course, I have pink. And look at this white one. Isn't this gorgeous? I just love this. Like, I don't know, but I'm going to make like a little sheer tent, you know, to like go over the top so we don't get sun in our little faces. Or I don't know what, but this would be pretty for a page too, you know. Isn't that gorge? I love it. I know, Mariana. Pink's my favorite too. Watch this. Watch this. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this gypsy fabric. Oh my goodness. I can't stand it. Look at that. I can't take it. I took every single piece. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Ugh. I know. Wait till you see the blue one. It's the same fabric, only blue. Here it is. Look. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. It's like teal, you know. So anyways, I really had fun today because this is just, I know, <laughs> total jackpot today. Look how gorgeous that is. And there's more, but I'm not going to go on and on. But I just wanted to show you for fun. You know, we're not doing anything in particular. But so anyway, that was really fun. That was really fun. I know I love it. Look at that stuff. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I need to get a drink. All right, so I told you there was a big box of seam binding, right? And inside that box was, look at this cool thing. I'm going to photocopy this. It's a needle book, but isn't the image cool? And then you open it up and it's all like fancy needles in there. <laughs> isn't that cool? I just love it. Look at the back. So it's got, it's cool ephemera. I'm going to um, print this out on some cardstock and like use it and make my, you know, make, I mean, isn't that cool? Look at all these neat needles. I just think that's neat. It came with two of these, only the other one's not pretty. It's just regular, but I just think that's really cool. So I like it. And then it came with two other things and I just want to show you for fun. So it came with these little I don't even know what these are, but they're so stinking cute. They're little teeny tiny little flowers. Shoot. I don't even know if the camera will even pick it up. I don't know what these are. They look like sugar flowers that you eat on top of a cake. You know what I'm saying? 
those hard candy little flowers, that's what they look like. And they're just like these little plastic. Oh my God, I don't even know what to do with these. But I thought on the cover with, see them? Do you see how cute these are? I don't know, but they're the most adorable little things I've ever seen in my life. So there's one little pack of these. Oh my God, you know, I think it says there's 25 in there. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. So I love these. And then what else was in there was I already put it in my my jewelry box. This is one of the boxes that's on my Athena paper collection. I love this cool, it's a copper box. And somebody made all of this like filigree work and put it together. So it's all like kind of junky. I don't know, it's weird, but it's neat. So anyway, what was in there was these and I, the package was ripped. And so I dumped them in here. But they're so on, which I never seen these before. They're so on rhinestones. Now, the luster is gone because they're old. You know what I mean? Hi, Carrie. Hi. I just went and got some stuff today is all I'm doing. Showing the girls what I got today at the, at the sale. And then I found a 1993 Philippines... Well, I think it's 10 cents. But anyway, so I got a Philippines dime. But anyway, I, got, I found so on rhinestones. Aren't those cute? I can't wait to use these. There's only like 25 of them. So I'm super excited to use those and these little roses I found. Those are so cute. I can't stand it. I love them. Hi, buddy. You're a good boy. Yes, you're a good boy. <laughs> okay. So, down to business. All right. So, Athena, are you still here? What do you think? Should I do four signatures? I don't know. I know. Isn't that needle book cool? I love it too, Stacy. There was two of them, like I said, but. And anyway, and then if I'm dying for some extra stuffers, I have these that I could make something out of. Do call buy lists, you know what I mean? These are cute. What do you mean eight? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was about to freak out. What are you talking about, girl? <laughs> are you trying to torment me on purpose? You know what I mean? Are you just doing that on purpose just for fun? <laughs> you know how upset I get about these things. <laughs> okay. So four signatures, you figure? Okay. Okay, well, I don't know. I'm scared. I've never done four signatures. I've only done two in my whole life. I've only done two, so I'm really scared. Because I don't want to go through all this work and then ruin everything. But guess what I did? I went and got 24-pound paper. Because I think that's going to help with some of the tearing. You know what I mean? So I'm hoping. I'm hoping that that'll help some. Look at my desk. I need to get one of those, I don't know, some things to cover it up before I ruin it beyond repair. No, I got a sander. I can get anything off. <laughs> I have to sand this anyways. It was the last part. I was almost done. I showed a couple of you in my desk, but I love my desk. So I think I'm just going to glue this paper on the back. I got something all over from, the, from that box. 
Oh, I know what it is. Oh my God. There was chalk in there. I mean it, chalk. Like a bag full. I have a bag full of chalk now. I don't even know what to do with it. I mean, I'm going to save it for my homemade gesso, but I already have a bunch of chalk. Jeez, oh, Pete's. I'm going to have chalk coming out my ears now. I don't know what to do with it all. Yeah, Nancy, I just, I mean, I'll use it for some stuff, but I think 24 pound is going to be my, I think that's why. I'm going to try it and see if it, if it helps any, the ripping. And, um, I mean, I hope it does because it's so annoying, you know, that I go through all this work and then, but we'll see. Well, she, she. So I just did a weekly planner, and now I got to turn around and do another one. Well, I don't got to, but I don't even know. I've never done these. Athena's was the first one I've done, so I don't know what's actually useful. Or I don't use a planner. I did when I did weddings. But I haven't had weddings much this whole season. I haven't even had one, so I'm over it, I guess. I took my sign down and everything. Back home, I couldn't, I was double booked, or triple even on a weekend. Three weddings on Saturday, you know? <laughs> or I mean the weekend. I've had two in one day before. That's hairy. But, um, I don't know. I couldn't, I couldn't, um, Keep my schedule empty back home and here I don't get anything so so thankfully I have this to do I'll still do them you know but people don't know me here and I have a big snow weddings isn't that cute snow weddings I mean seriously right because my last name is snow I just think it's so cute so I got this banner made and I'm all cute about it you know <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And I have, a, um, it's Wedding Efficient Kelly Snow on Facebook, you know? And so I have a little Facebook spot where all my pictures of my weddings are and stuff. And like I, you know, got the backdrop and it's got like snow and sparkles and pink stuff and whatever. It's just cute as hell, you know? But anyway, I have this big banner up, you know, Snow Weddings and my name and the phone number and all that jazz. And I had it on the end of our gate with the phone number and stuff. I think I got one wedding off of it. But I had it for um, shows, you know, wedding shows. You know, when you go to the big, I don't know what's it called. Is it, it's not a show, but a venue where all the booths are set up. I can't think of the word right now. Four signatures for a planner is too big, Stacy. Well, look, I want to do a signature a week is what I was doing. You know what I mean? Trying to keep them a little bit small. There's only like 12 pages in each signature, and I was trying to keep them small. And then um, after the week's over, like you're never going to use all these cards in one week. You know what I mean? Like you can just keep re reusing it over and over and over again. You know what I mean? until all your little cards and stuff are gone, and then you can either make your own or, you know, order the kit from Daisy so you can replenish if you wanted, you know. I mean, it's reusable over and over again. So I don't know. I didn't do Athena's that way. I just did, but I did rings with hers. And I just had tabs for the weeks for hers. So I don't know. I don't know how to do it. But I do want to have it set up by the week somehow. I just like that. You know. So I'll have to figure this out. Because I'm not quite sure how to do it either. We'll see when I get going here. I think I kind of want to sew on this. But I don't know. And I have to make a pocket to put it in. So, you know, all these little things have to be 
presented, you know. So this is just going to be little pockets. So I was thinking I could sew it or glue it. But right now, I'll just glue the edge just a little bit. And I can go back and sew. So after, but you got to do the sewing and the inking right now. Otherwise, you're going to get too far in and then. But I don't really want to do sewing while I have you guys here because, you know, you can't see my sewing machine. So, so I will not sew. And I saved all my strips, all these little strips, because it has all the patterns on. And I was watching how many bloom. You guys see that one? Marnazzi took all the little strips and she, see how cute that is? All the strips she cut off. And then she sewed them. She sewed them. On like the tags or something I can't remember what she did it doesn't matter but it's just the technique right because we can do it on to onto anything but isn't that cute you know for some layering or whatever and she sewed it right down here and sewed it right down here so they stayed on there so I saved all my cutoffs and I'm gonna think that's gonna be cute um, on something I'll figure this out, but we're going to use it on something. So that'll be cute, right? So I got those saved. Oh, now I find it after all this time. Look, Athena. Here's the dang round one. <laughs> I've been looking for this and looking for this and looking for this. Oh, my God. If I send you those dinosaurs for your kid, I'll have to put this in there. <laughs> if I don't lose it before before then. Thank God. Can't believe I'm just now finding it. It's so funny. So I'm going to dig out some of my stamps. I was going to do it and I forgot. So I forgot. Sorry. But you know, I can't do everything right. <laughs> you know what I mean? But look at these huge stamps. Look at this huge sucker. OMG, right? And it's roses. Love it. Because I want to do some stamping, right? And it's a garden. I want to. I don't know. Should I just do roses? I don't know. Because I got this one, too. Look at that one. Look at these little mice blowing bubbles. Oh, they're so cute. I can't wait. I'm going to do, like, an actual garden one when I do my onion skins. I got, I got little bumblebees. I don't know. See, that gets weird. But I love this because it's herbs. So I think instead of script stamping, I'm going to use I'm going to use that script because it's all herbs. I don't know, but maybe I'll ruin it. This is supposed to be about roses. You guys tell me what you think. I don't know. Should I just stick to roses or should I go? I'll see what I got here. I got so many. I got butterflies. I do have a bird stamp. Dang it. When I did that traveler's notebook, I was thinking, I don't even have a bird stamp, but I do. Bummer. I didn't remember I had that. See, I need to get these stamps set up to where, I like this one too, to where um, I have a drawer, you know, and you can just pull it out and see all your stamps. Right now, I have four bins that I got to dig through every friggin' one, you know? 
I do have a key too in case I end up using that that um, this well shoot no I don't see it here of course what happened to it no, I don't know where it went but anyway all right let's see Oh, I have this one, too. See, I probably have enough roses where I could just do roses. I don't know if I should do script or herbs. So I'll keep both of those out. So I got roses, roses, a key, maybe a bird. I don't think so, but we'll see. We'll see how gardeny I get. I'm not sure. I love to do this vase. Look at how old and crappy this is, but it's a cool vase. And then you put, I put roses up here on the top. I love that for weddings, you know. And then I like this one too, but it's not roses. And look at the jar with the jars with the herbs. I love it. I can't wait to do my garden one. I'm so excited. But I'm looking for roses. Look at this one, Stacy. I got daisies because you know I know I'm going to be doing that daisy one. Isn't that cute? I'm not going to use it now, but I'm just showing you. Here's another rose. It's another keyhole. I guess that's it. I guess that's it. That's all I would use. I guess. Let's see here. I know I love the Shastas too, right? <laughs> Mariana's freaking out over my stamps. <laughs> um, well, I shop, you know, for them. All around. I go to Hobby Lobby when they're 50% off. But actually where I got the bulk of my stamps from was the swap meet. Somebody sold me the big, huge tubs of them for 10 bucks. You know, so I just luck out. That's just how I do it. I don't know. I just luck out when it comes to this kind of stuff. Okay, so let's see. The first thing I always do is script. I know I love the Shasta daisies too. They're so pretty. Okay. Let's see. First thing I want to do is script stamping. So, hmm. Not sure if I want to use script or if I want to use herbs. You mean you won't drive to the other side of town? You must live in a big town if you don't want to drive to the other side of town. Shoot. I drive 25 minutes to go see my Hobby Lobby. Are you nuts? I can't believe that. <laughs> oh, I can't go across town. You must live in a huge town. I don't care where my Hobby Lobby is. I'm going. <laughs> I got to go. You know, shoot. Sometimes you just have to. How can you not? I don't even understand that. How can you not go? Are you nuts? <laughs> okay. I need... My ink.
I guess. <laughs> you are nuts, girl. I'm telling you what. My Hobby Lobby was across town. I don't care where I go. Shoot. I need some things. You know. <laughs> I need some things. Actually, I... I don't like all this white on here. Usually I put some color in it, but there's so much color and pattern in here that I think I'm going to just leave it, you know, just to be plain. And I got my ink kind of thick, so I'm just tapping. I'm just tapping right now because I don't want to ruin it. It'll be too, too dark. I like to go on the edges. I don't know why, but I just do. See how it gives you script there then? <laughs> and I like to do it haphazard ways, like, you know, just to have it in the background. I got a little bit dark, but that's okay because you know how we do it. You know how we cover things up? You know how we do it? Yeah, I think this will be cute with the script with uh, herbs. The only thing of it is, is you can actually read the words. You know what I mean? With the script stamp, you can't. Like, you can't make out a word. You know what I mean? So maybe I'll alternate. That's what I'll do. Alternate. I really do need a vintage photo now. I first started and I bought these little samples, you know, this little tower of vintage photo distress inks, little samples. I'm about out. So I think I'm in a have to get some ink here somewhere along the line. I think I like this vintage photo better. That's too dark. Nice. So it's my husband's birthday today. So I'm not going to stay on forever because I got to go cook. <laughs> I'm a big cooker, you know. So I bought these. Um, I buy bulk meat. Like, I don't buy meat at Walmart or whatever or any store because no freaking way. You know what I mean? No thanks. Walmart can take their glued together steaks and shove it. You know what I mean? So, um... I go either to a local farm and try to find somebody around that has normal food, you know, that normal people can eat, you know, without dying of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, I went and got um, a quarter beef. But we're out now, so I had to actually like go buy a steak off the shelf. I bought organic, um, these little round organic little things, and they're real thick, you know what I mean? And they're really good. They practically fall off the, well, there's no bone. It's just straight meat. It's really good. But anyway, um, so I'm going to make those. And then I got a couple of rings of kielbasa that I like to put on the grill with the steak. So we're going to do that. Well, I don't really know if there's a difference between, like, this is just a regular stamp pad, you know, of ink. And I don't know. I just, I know that that kind of ink is, like, a little bit, I don't know. I think it's all the same. I really do. It's just packaged different. I know that this ink in here is a little like more runny. And they all have their different 
you know, the colored inks are different. They are all weird too, you know, but it's just these ones are, I don't know, vintage photo. So that's like a specific color that we like, you know what I mean? And this ink here that I was using is just, it was just too black. This like fades more into the background, which is what I want, you know what I mean? Because this is just background now. I'm not doing anything to it. I'm just putting something on it so it's not plain. I dyed it with the rose water first. And now I script stamp on it. And then I'll, you know, do something to it here. I don't know yet, but. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to stick with the vintage photo, although I do have these colored inks. But I do have pink, but there's so much color in here already that I kind of want to, I kind of want to tone it down, you know what I mean? So, I think what I'll do then is... Yeah, but the deal of it is, is I don't know how to answer those kind of questions. I really don't because I am new, you know, too. I really don't have a lot of experience with with all the different kinds of inks. There's so many, you know, but I know my colored stuff is weird, too. It's not the same consistency as the others are. So a lot of times I try it out on a different piece of paper first. And then if you're not using 24 pound, it goes through. So then you're kind of messed up for the other side. You know what I mean? I've had that happen too. So I'm going to go barbecue steak and kielbasa and I don't know what else. He likes fried green beans. You guys eat fried green beans? I was making fried green, green beans before it was cool. That's all I know. Now all of a sudden they got fried green beans everywhere and they put it in Applebee's I about died. I'm like, what? When did they start making those? I've been making those for years. Mm. I'm not sure about the drying time. I know that this, that ink pad that I was using, just that regular ink pad, it does take a while to dry. So, So, oh my God, you guys, we have so many new members in the group. Did you see now? We're over 700. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. I just started it a few months ago. It wasn't even that long ago. Stacy, you guys, Athena, remember? I know Emma's not here and some of them aren't here, but started the group and here now we have over 700 already. I just can't hardly believe it. Word travels fast, right? kind of fun so now we'll do a, we got a tag swap going on now which I'm excited about that 
garden stuff. I'm into the garden right now. I mean, it is the middle of summer, so we ought to be picking things now. You know, we always had a garden when I was little. And some of you heard my stories from when I was a childhood, you know. There. So I'm just gluing these. Now I'm going to strip stamp where I glue that. I'm getting popular. Yeah, well, I don't know if I am or not. I just think it's because I have the same name as all the rest of them, Drunk Journal Drunkies, and people just go on every group. It's not like mine's any different than anybody else's. Well, I try to do different stuff, but everybody has their own way, you know, of doing it, so... So it's fun. I'm enjoying it. It's uh, a learning experience to see who's going to participate in what. And you know what's really cool now that um, I'm on 700 members. It gives you it gives you um, new options now, which I didn't have before. Like I can see who my top posters are. Like who posts the much? Who talks the most? Who does the most pictures, who does, you know, this or that. I actually think, Teresa, you're one of the top posters, actually. You're a good little poster. I think you're second. I think Linda Israel's first because, you know, she's been doing that dang a journal every single day in July. Oh, my God. <laughs> I could never make a journal every single day. I don't know how she does it. I mean, those are just quick little, that must be just quick little, you know, cute they're cute you know little they're cute you know what I mean but uh, I could never do a journal in a day I just I don't know how she does it but anyway she does one every single day so right now she's the top poster but if she wasn't doing that to Miss Teresa is my top poster Woo I feel like sending you a little prize <laughs> my poster girl so that's really funny that it keeps track of all that, isn't it? Once I reach 700, I got this message, you know, all of a sudden. Now I have options. I'm like, oh, okay. Moving up in the world then. <laughs> I forgot that happened with my cookbook group. But you know, that group, I mean, they won't do anything. I've tried and tried to get those people active and do something and they won't so i just gave up now we just look at their cookbooks whatever i don't know i don't know what to do with it we'll see i'm trying to link them two together but i don't know nobody wants to do anything over there so you know yawn i like to do something i don't want to just sit and look at stuff Yeah, I like it, too. It takes me weeks, too, Mariana, to make some. Carrie, you made some spray inks. I made spray inks, too. But I didn't use markers. I just used acrylic paint. My daughter, she says, that was your show. <laughs> My own daughter doesn't even watch me. Oh, well, they think it's boring, I'm sure. For 20 something, you know, I have to tell her, I'm on right now, yo. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm on right now, yo. See what she says. We'll laugh at her, okay? <laughs> on right now. <laughs> uh, I know it takes me weeks too, to make one anyway, and that's what I was saying. She says, YouTube? Well, yeah, what do you think? She's going to come on, maybe. Oh, my God, it would be so funny if my daughter came on. I have two daughters. One's Heather, and one is Sierra. And Sierra's in the group, but Heather's not a real artsy person. 
and um, she struggles with every little thing. <laughs> She's trying to find it. <laughs> Too bad. All right. I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Kids. You know, I've told her a bazillion times. No, I know. I like new posts too, Teresa. It's fun. I get on in the morning and make my morning, you know, deal. But uh, here's the ticket, you guys. I can't even do the morning post anymore because... There's so many people. I had a hundred people the other day. Like, I can't keep up to that. So I'm just, I kind of gave up. I'm still doing my good morning posts, but I'm not tagging everybody because literally I ran around with a pad and pencil and paper, you know, in my hand all freaking day long, writing down everybody's names. I mean, it was fun at first when you're new and everything, you know. Um... And you only get, you know, 13 or 10 or something every day or whatever. But, and then when I did the post, it, Facebook only lets you tag 50 people. And it wouldn't let me tag, you know. So then I had to do two posts. And I was like, oh, my God. You know what I mean? So um, I decided, I don't know. I don't know. It's just too much for me. I'd rather be working than sitting at the computer tagging everyone, which I know it's a nice to have that welcome. I do get that. But I know I might need some help. I was just talking to Athena about that. And hi, honey. You're home early. Happy birthday. You're home really early. Well, good. My daughter, she says, listen to this. She knows I'm doing live stream and she says, can I ask you something off the subject? But I know you're probably busy right now. <laughs> what a dork. Anyways, so I was asking Athena and then Laura offered up to be admin too. So I just might need some help. You know what I mean? So we'll see. I'll need some help when I do um, these live streams too, moderators and such. Once I, once you get um, so many people watching, you get um, Get people coming in messing around, you know what I mean? Sometimes I was told like teenagers come in and start swearing and doing things, or you know, people want to come in and promote their page and their group and their stuff, and then it's very distracting for someone who's actually here to, you know, be part of our group and what we're doing and whatever. Other people come in and they want to complain or they have ailments or they, you know, whatever, and they try to take over and get, you know, and then pretty soon, you know, la, 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 la. So anyway, it goes on and on. So sometimes you need help to get, you know, everybody to just chill out, you know what I mean? And I can't keep stopping what I'm doing to... Tell everybody to shut up. <laughs> oh, you guys just shut up. No, I'm just kidding. But you know what I mean. Sometimes people come on just to promote their own stuff or their own group or their own whatever. And it gets to be distracting. Ah! She's still texting me. How do I do it? What do I do? Where do I go? I say, figure it out, honey. You're grown. <laughs> you know what I mean? So my husband got home early.
you know, usually I go till six, but he's home and it's his birthday. So, babe, do you want me to quit? Not yet. I usually go till six. Five thirty. Happy birthday, honey. I love you. Okay. I know it's hot. I don't even have pants on. <laughs> I don't even have pants on. <laughs> Petra. Petra. I love Petra. You know, I'm from the 80s. You know, I love those songs. I love me some Petra. <laughs> All I'm doing is gluing these things and script stamping on my on my copy paper right now. Nothing too terribly. Because I can't sew right now because we're... So I'm just gluing my pockets, gluing my stuff, organizing my things, getting kind of an idea of what the heck I'm going to do. You know what Petra stands for, don't you? I mean, you must know, right? That's why you named yourself that? Petra's Place? Or is that, like, really your name? You know, you just don't know when people, you know. But that's cool either way. I like it. My script card. Um... Templates to make my script card? I don't know what you mean by script card. These? Or this? This little file? This, yeah, I had a template for this. You can get them on my... I think I saved this one on my Pinterest, but I have a bunch of um, envelopes, too, on my Pinterest under envelope folds. But I don't know what you mean by script cards. These? These are from the kit. These are from Pinterest. These are from the kit. Oh my God, your first name is Petra. Oh my God, okay, so that's cool. So your parents must be the coolest. So are you in your 40s? Because you have to be if your parents were in the 80s. Right? <laughs> yeah, the tab one. Yep, I had just a little... Somebody sent me a couple of these, and so I just saved my last one, and I just use it to trace. But I do have it saved on my Pinterest board, I think. Otherwise, there's envelopes, too, there that I saved, so... But yeah, isn't it cute? And then I just make um, a little pocket for it, and it looks really cute. 1983. See, I knew it. It's so funny. Your parents must have had big hair and ripped jeans and were listening to rock and roll and listening to ACDC and named their kid Petra. That is so funny. <laughs> I like you already. <laughs> I'm lucky if my name wasn't Star or something weird like that. In a novel, come on, my story was better. <laughs> it's a rock band. Come on, get with it, right? <laughs> it's a rock band for sure. I know I love the 80s too. I still wear clothes like that. And I love big hair and everything, you know. I love it. I still wear Mariana. I wear um, leg warmers. In the wintertime, I wear them. I wear skirts, leggings, and leg warmers. You know what I mean? So I'm still doing it. It's so funny. It's funny. I'm still stuck in the 80s. Petra? Eh, it might be. Solid as a Petra means rock. 
you know that, right? Like solid is a rock or whatever. Petra is rock, a rock. And um, maybe it is a Christian man. I, I worried a preacher's son, you know, a long time ago. Not this husband, but, you know, a few husbands back. <laughs> you know what I mean? I married a um, preacher's son. Oh, yeah, I wear leg warmers all winter. So it could have very well been a Christian band, Petra, but I don't think so, but maybe they are. Now I'm going to have to go YouTube and look. I want to start adding songs and, like, pictures to my videos. I don't know how to do that, you guys. Like, all the girls that have been doing this forever, they have cool pictures and music and, like, all this stuff, and mine are all shitty. <laughs> I don't know how to do all that stuff yet. You know what I mean? But you guys forgive me, right? You're an old lady. That's funny. Well, I'm 45. Well, I'm trying to figure out how to do this paper. I don't know. I'm just trying to put together what I think goes, you know. So that's what I'm going to do. Can't believe my husband's home this early. He never gets home this early. Six o'clock after six usually. Every time. I don't know why today. But it's his birthday, so that's nice. He got up there early. 59. That's not old. I hope I don't think I'm old when I'm 59. No, it's all state of mind, so I like to play a lot. So I just want to keep my young little spirit going. And I think the more you say things out loud, you know, it brings it into into reality and so the more you say I'm an old lady well then the more you are one so I don't I don't talk about things like that you know what I mean purposely because you know people say oh you gotta retire because you're gonna die soon well shoot you know <laughs> stop saying things like that you know what I mean I just don't even want to go there Right. Thanks, Carrie. You know, I don't do short videos much anymore because YouTube stinks, and every time I try to do a short video, there's an error in processing. I mean, the other day when I did those Travelers Notebooks, I was trying to just do a regular video so I don't have to go on live, you know, just do a regular video like everybody else does. Nope. I did it over and over and over and over again, and it just wouldn't work, so... So to heck with it. I'll just go live then. But I notice my subscribers are way down because I don't do my short little how-tos anymore. But I will if there's something that that I haven't done before. You know what I mean? Like, I'll still do my how-tos if I do something that you haven't seen. You know? But... That's why I'm just doing this now because I figure, well, if somebody wants to learn how to do junk journals and they really want to do it, well, they'll just go watch somebody make them then, you know. And then I was doing the Tuesday, Thursday, tag board Tuesday and trashy Thursday and all that. And I was getting upset because I had to put all my journal stuff away to do that. So I thought to heck with it. And I even asked some of you guys, do you care? Because I'd rather just show what I'm working on than put everything away and then drag it all back out again and put it all away and drag it all back out two days a week that sucked. So somebody told me, well, if you only just do journals, it's going to be awful boring. But that's what I do, so... But I do other stuff, but I notice that I don't get a lot of watches, you know. So people know me for doing junk journals, you know, so that's just the way it is. So that's what I'll do. I 
I don't like how this one went. I have this big thing in the bottom. Your hair won't ever go gray. Well, that's nice, I guess. I don't know. Sometimes I see those older ladies with the gray hair. And I just think it looks pretty. You know what I mean? My grandma had beautiful silver hair. And I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just not going to fight it. The least resistance is always the way to go. Surrender is, is the only way. You know? Okay. Yeah, I always use clothespins for everything, Carrie. <laughs> Gray is in. Well, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. So I'm going to get some of this together. And I'm going to do my sewing next. So the next time you see me, Thursday, I should have some of this more together and ready so we can so we can start making pockets and stuff. You know what I mean? Pockets and tuck spots and do all the fun stuff that we like, you know? That's the fun part, all the embellishing. I'm just getting everything organized right now. <laughs> blonde in a bottle. I know I was blonde for so many years. But then I had to start dyeing it blonde. I moved to Alaska and something happened to my hair. I don't know, it went dark all of a sudden. And then um, I was born, I had white ringlets. And then it went dark in the 80s. I start dyeing it blonde, and then now I'm like over it because it gets fried in the ends and it doesn't grow, and yada yada. So I went dark and a red, kind of a dark cherry, and now my my hair is down to my butt so long because I don't have any breakage. So that's nice. Ooh, Mariana, that's pretty. I was using that when shampoo. You guys use that when? I like when. But I like all that kind of stuff. I like to try all the new products. Okay. So that's that. So that's all done. So now, Stacy Crease sent me these beautiful napkins, and I have been not wanting to use them because they're so pretty, and I only got one, you know? <laughs> and I just think they're so pretty, and I know one somebody else sent me, and then Stacy sent me, so I'm not sure now which ones they are, but somebody sent me both of these, and they're so pretty that I hated to use them. I'm using them today. So here's the little paper I'm going to put inside these envelopes. They're from the kit. I just shrunk them down. They're cute. And they will fit inside these envelopes that I got for free at a sale. All right. These are so pretty. Okay. So usually I go to six, but until six, but it's my honey's birthday. And I have to go start the grill. So I'm really glad you guys came to see me. And I'm sorry for cutting out early, but kind of have to today. 
Okay. So we'll get back together on Thursday. But I did really enjoy our time together, okay? And we'll talk again soon. See you guys in the group.